Let's talk about the alarms of LibreGuard 7. LibreGuard 7 is able to detect, for example, occlusions. In this situation, we have a normal pressure curve at a pressure around about 14, P set is 15. Everything's fine so far. If I now close the valve to the patient, we will have an occlusion situation. See, there's no pulsation anymore. Now it takes a few seconds for Lifogar to detect this situation and then we will hear the machine sounding an alarm saying that pulsation got lost. Pulsation lost alarm. Here we see possible reasons for this alarm, and if we want to, we can silence this alarm for 2, 10, or 30 minutes, our choice. And if you want to get rid of this red alarm window, you press the continue button. Now the alarm window is gone, but the alarm LED is still flashing, indicating that there is an alarm situation. And the alarm bell is crossed out, means you silented an alarm. When you press the crossed out alarm bell, the alarm window will come back again. The next alarm situation is a high pressure alarm. I can generate some high pressure by pressing this ball. Have a look to the white curve. Now the pressure goes up. The figure goes to red. And we hear an alarm saying the pressure is too high. Indicating possible alarm causes. Silent, go away. The next possible alarm situation is a low pressure alarm. We have a good pressure curve now. When I now drop the pressure below the red line, we will have a low pressure alarm situation and the word sound an alarm. Pressure, pressure is too low. What happens in case of a slip ventricle? so-called collapsed ventricles. Well, first of all, the pulsation might get lost, like this. In this situation, Lieferwart will sound the no pulsation alarm after some time. Second, the pressure will drop. If it drops below the red line, Lieferwart will sound the low pressure alarm. And third, we will not drain anything anymore. Therefore, we will see the low flow alarm. Means we have three alarms that tell us something is wrong. Low pressure alarm, no pulsation alarm, low flow alarm, in case of slip and trickles. Now what happens in case of a bleeding inside the brain. Well, a bleeding will lead to a high-pressure situation. Of course, Liebogard will sound an alarm for this. But just in case no one reacts on that alarm, Liebogard will start draining with high speed in order to save the patient's life, to reduce the excessive pressure. This is what we're going to see now. We have a normal pressure curve at the moment. Now the pressure goes up because of a bleeding. We see the alarm sounding. And if nothing happens and the pressure remains high, 
liquefa drains with a maximum speed until the pressure is in between the two alarm borders again. Means till the pressure is in the alarm corridor again. We see the same situation again, but this time we see the rotation speed of the pump. Now again the pressure is normal. Now we start the bleeding, pressure goes high, goes above the red line and the alarm will sound in a few seconds. The pressure remains high and the pump will now start speeding up. And the pressure goes down. By doing this we save the patient's life. We drain excessive high pressure. Now in our example the high pressure alarm came pretty fast. This can be adjusted in the menu alarm general. You see the alarm delay is very small, only 5 seconds. 20 seconds is the default setting. The same with the max speed of the pump. The pump speeds up after some delay which you can adjust here. The delay now is 12 seconds, which is pretty small. 30 seconds is the default setting. So the machine waits 20 seconds for the alarm, and if nothing happens, he waits another 30 seconds to speed up the pump. Liquogard also detects disconnection of the tube set. In this situation everything is okay. We see a pulsating pressure. When I now disconnect the tube set from the patient, we will have two alarms telling us that we have a problem. First, we have a low pressure alarm because we are below the lower red alarm border. Second, we don't have any pulsation anymore, therefore the machine will sound the pulsation alarm within a few seconds. You see, pressure is too low and pulsation is lost. Two indicators for a big problem. And as we can see here, patient is running empty. <laughs>